So you're prepping for the SAT and you already know your vocabulary skills need a little help. Well, you're in the right place because I will be sharing two valuable study tools that will up your vocabulary game in no time. Hi, I'm Carolyn Smith and I'm here to help you navigate the college application process so that you can achieve your goals at the college of your dreams. If you stick around until the end, I will share my freebie with you called Jumpstart Your Junior Year, the essential college application toolbox for high school juniors. So let's get started. Vocabulary is an important aspect of the SAT, especially in the reading and writing sections. The SAT assesses your ability to understand and analyze complex texts, and a strong vocabulary can help you comprehend the meaning of passages and answer the questions more accurately. In the reading section, you may encounter difficult vocabulary words in the passages, and understanding the meaning of those words can help you grasp the overall meaning of the text. In the writing and language section, you may need to identify errors in sentence structure or improve the clarity and precision of sentences, and having a wide range of vocabulary can help you choose the best options. The SAT no longer has a dedicated vocabulary section. Instead, the SAT now emphasizes more contextual understanding of vocabulary, meaning you don't need to memorize a long list of obscure words, but you should be able to identify the meaning of words based on the context in which they are used. Here is an example of this type of question. As you can see, you would need to be familiar with the word ambivalent in order to analyze it in its context. In order to score well on the SAT, it's important to be familiar with a broad range of vocabulary words. So how do you go about brushing up on your vocab skills? I have two valuable tools I will be sharing with you that will get you up to speed in no time. If you find this information helpful, be sure and hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on a single video. The first vocabulary tool is called Brainscape. Brainscape is a mobile and web-based flashcard app that uses spaced repetition to help users learn and retain information more effectively. The app offers over a million generated flashcard decks on a wide range of topics, including languages, sciences, history, math, and test prep. The spaced repetition algorithm that the app uses presents users with flashcards at timed intervals based on how well they remember the information on each card. If a user struggles with a particular card, the app will present it more frequently, while cards that the user answers correctly will be presented less frequently. The app also allows users to create their own flashcard decks, which they can share with others. Users can add images and audio to their flashcards to make them more engaging and more memorable. Brainscape's mission is to help people learn faster and more efficiently by optimizing the process of acquiring and retaining knowledge. The app is free to download and use, but some features are only available with a paid prescription. Another vocab tool you may also want to try is Anki. Anki is a popular flashcard software that also uses spaced repetition to help users memorize and learn new information more efficiently. It allows users to create digital flashcards with questions on one side and answers on the other, and then uses an algorithm to determine when and how often each card should be reviewed based on the user's performance. The algorithm calculates an optimal review schedule based on the user's responses so that the cards that the user finds difficult or forgets are shown more frequently, while the cards that the user finds easy are shown less frequently. This helps to maximize retention and minimize study time. Anki has a wide range of features that allows users to customize their flashcards and study sessions, such as the ability to add images, audio, and video, and to categorize and tag cards for easy organization. It also offers a large library of shared decks created by other users, which cover a variety of topics and languages. So users can easily find and download pre-made flashcard sets to study. Overall, Anki is a powerful tool for learning and memorization, and can be used for a variety of purposes, including language learning and medical studies, or any other subject that requires memorization of facts and concepts. Both Brainscape and Anki are popular flashcard apps that help users memorize and retain information more effectively. Here are some key differences between the two. Number one, both apps use spaced repetition algorithms to help users learn more efficiently. However, Anki's algorithm is more customizable, allowing users to adjust factors such as the interval between reviews and the number of new cards introduced per day. Brainscape's algorithm is simpler and more automated, and some users find it to be more effective for learning. 
Number two, both apps allow users to create their own flashcards. But Brainscape also offers pre-made flashcard sets for a variety of subjects, such as languages, standardized tests, and medical topics. Anki has a large user community that shares decks, so there are many pre-made decks available as well. Number three, Brainscape has a more visually appealing and user-friendly interface with features such as animations and progress tracking. Anki has a more basic interface, but its customization options allow users to tailor the app to their specific needs. Number four, Brainscape offers a subscription model with a free trial and various pricing tiers, while Anki is completely free to use on desktop and mobile. Overall, both apps are effective tools for learning and memorization, and the choice between them will depend on your personal preferences and needs. Anki is more customizable and has a larger community, while Brainscape has a more streamlined interface and offers pre-made decks for various subjects. And there you have it. Leave a comment below and let me know which platform you like best. And just like I promised, below you'll find a link to my freebie, Jumpstart Your Junior Year, the essential college application toolbox for high school juniors. Download the toolbox now and get my top college-ready tips for juniors such as 10 smart strategies to implement your junior year. So very helpful. Or how to get the most out of your college visit and make it fun too. Also great questions to ask on your college tour. So you're not speechless. And the last one, a college summary pros and cons worksheet that's quick and easy. Now you can take a deep sigh of relief knowing essential college information is coming your way that will put you on the road to college success. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.